Greetings, Legends! Aircraft carriers have arrived in World of Warships Legends and are here to stay. Let's go over a few tips to help you get airborne. These are an entirely different type of combatant. Relying on the power of their strike aircraft in the form of dive bombers and torpedo bombers rather than their main battery guns. As soon as the battle begins, you can launch your selected squadron by using the right trigger as if firing your guns for a regular ship. This will place you in control of the bomber squadron, which can be maneuvered using the left stick. Keep in mind that any change to speed will cause the engine to overheat. You can cool down by returning to cruising speed or by using the engine cooling consumable. When flying into combat, make sure to avoid flak bursts, distinguished by black oily clouds in front of you. These signify areas of heavy anti-aircraft fire that will quickly destroy your aircraft. Keep in mind, Chips will also constantly deal anti-aircraft damage to any planes in range. Don't stick around too long while striking. To attack your enemy, you need to begin your attack run with the right trigger. This will send a strike group to perform a strike and reveal the aiming indicator. Be sure to give plenty of lead. Airdrop ordnance takes time to reach the target, and your planes will become more accurate as they aim. Torpedo bombers are fairly intuitive and work similarly to ship torpedoes, although airdrop torpedoes are slower and less powerful than ship launch torpedoes and require clever aiming to land hits. When you drop your torpedoes using the right trigger again, the torpedoes will tend to travel along the outside edges of the aiming indicator. Keep in mind that you cannot drop a torpedo directly onto a ship. The torpedo must run a certain distance underwater before it arms. If they strike unarmed, the torpedoes will be duds and will not detonate. Dive bombers are a bit more difficult to land hits with, especially against high-speed maneuvering targets. When you begin your attack run, the strike group will begin their dive, dropping their bombs on your command by the second trigger pull. Bombs need to be given lead too. A decent starting point is a ship length ahead of your target. Starting at Tier 5, you will have access to patrol fighters to assist your team. This consumable will call in fighter support to deny an area to enemy aircraft, protecting your allies. You can return to the carrier at any time by pressing the down arrow on the directional pad. You can control your carrier in the same way as any other ship when you aren't flying aircraft. However, you can also set a course for your ship via the minimap. Open the minimap and select the point you wish to sail towards, and the helmsman will take care of the rest while you command the squadrons. How do you respond to a carrier attack, especially as a surface combatant? This is what your anti-aircraft armament is for with some ships being better protected than others. The AA guns will automatically begin firing when enemy aircraft enters the AA range of your ship. Keep your head on a swivel and listen for enemy aircraft. If they are dive bombers, expect an end-on approach, while torpedo bombers will usually attack from the side of your ship. You can avoid serious damage with a well-executed dodge. Most cruisers and some other ships come equipped with a defensive anti-aircraft fire consumable, which will greatly increase their AA firepower for a short time. Use it well, and you can quickly take down several enemy aircraft. These are the basics of aircraft carrier gameplay. We hope these tips will help you turn the tide in battle.